Okay, today we're going to do some painting. I'm going to be painting the minis for Cosmic Frog. Um, the supplies I'm using today are pretty basic. Uh, I'm going to try basically some Citadel, different types of Citadel uh, contrast paint. Now this is, for example, the Blood Angels red, and I've got uh, some blue contrast paint, etc. Um, what I'm going to go for, what's the nice thing about Cosmic Frog is you can pretty much do anything since they're, there's no real canon per se on them. Um, this is from the uh, Lord of the Rings uh, Journey in Middle Earth and I'm going to try and duplicate something like this for uh, these various Cosmic Frog minis. So again, uh, the supplies I'm using today are just pretty basic stuff. A little cup of water. Uh, Obviously a wide variety of paintbrushes, along with the various paints. I may be using some, oh, just common uh, acrylic paint that you can get at any hobby store, such as even uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. This is not necessarily the colors I'm going to be using, but you get the idea. I've got a nice light here for the minis, and of course, some uh, basically magnifying glasses, so when I look at them, and again, uh, something to mount the minis on themselves. So again, today is going to be trying different things, different techniques as far as uh, the minis go. I'm painting them. I think I'm going to start off with, uh, just for fun, I think I'm going to start off with maybe painting this uh, using that red paint. So in a second, I'll start that process. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start very lightly. Again, I'm watering this down a little bit. By the way, this is these uh, minis are already primed with just a white spray, spray primer. And I'm going to go ahead and paint basically right here at the top and a little bit on his nose. And then what I'm going to do is after that dries, using the contrast paint again, I'm just going to try and mix it with a little uh, pink for the edges of the belly. And I'm going to leave the belly white. Okay, that's my plan. Then we'll go back and darken it with maybe some uh, null oil or um, you know just basically some darkening agents uh, to get to bring the shadows out. What's nice about the contrast paint is they automatically bring out shadows, which we're going to show you right now. Again, all I'm doing is just a little bit of contrast paint here. You can always do more later on, so I would go light at first, whatever you do. Okay, and then. Maybe darken this area right here a little bit. And you can see right off the bat it's got some nice depth. Okay, I'm not gonna show every stroke I do, but it kind of gives you an idea of how we're starting off. Now again, what's nice about these minis is there's no set pattern, set color scheme. You can paint this for that matter all black if you wanted to, but I'm going to try and give some distinct look. And I've gone on Board Game Geek and looked at some images that people have already posted just to kind of give me an idea. And again, I'm going to go ahead and put my glasses on here, make sure I don't miss any spots. But again, what you want to do, again, you can see the crevices are being filled in a little bit. Again, I'm going to go back later on and probably fill in these areas a little bit more if I miss anything. But today, for for right now, I'm just going to get a nice little introduction to it, and then I can do some blending later on with either that pink that I just showed you, or uh, some other combination of colors. So again, we're going to just do a little bit here, and again, there's no wrong way to do this, because again, you're just having fun, and I'm looking at them through a magnifying glass. Most people will not. <laughs> So again, that's just to start off, we're just getting this a little bit right here also. But again, you can see, that's just to start off, give it some color, already looks, you know, I will say nominally better, not a lot better, but still looks good. So now, and then what I'm probably going to do is do his twin, probably do that maybe in a green, maybe a blue, we'll see. But again, you can always go back and paint more, but it's kind of hard to take away once you put it in there. Okay. That's it for now.
Okay, so I've already painted uh, using, again, the green contrast paint, which is, the official color is uh, Contrast Orc Flesh. You know, why not? And I'm using that there. You can see, and while that's drying, what I'm going to do is, and so it's a red one drying, I'm going to paint, I'm going to try and copy the cover of Cosmic Frog. And this one, instead of using contrast paint, I'm going to use some just, uh, in this case, this is called Calypso Sky. Again, uh, there is no official rule on what colors you have to use, but again, I'm just having fun. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint that shell. It's a little bit more defined. And then what we'll do is after that dries, um, we'll shade it maybe with some contrast blue, maybe with some dark blue. And then again, I'm going to use the same idea as far as a lighter color up here. Again, the white, I may just lighten this up a little bit. Um, and then just bring out some shadows with some non or some dark blue paint. Okay, so real quickly we'll paint that. Again, a little wet. because I'm just trying to get it covered right now. Yep. So again, it's a little bit too watery, but we'll get that worked on here in a second. And you can see what we can do with just watered paint and a little primer on it gets it nice so you can already see some detail coming out on that shell and then I can always go back and highlight some stuff or use some dry brushing techniques so right now I'm just going to spread this paint thin basically my goal is to get some texture in it okay so again I don't want to bore you with every brush stroke that I'm doing but again you get the idea and I'm going to do that I don't know what color I'm going to use for the other one of this, the other twin of this, uh, but I'll get some uh, ideas for color. Okay, so again, I'm not using the contrast paint, I'm just using some basic acrylic paint, and then I'm going to blend it in with some other paint. But this has a defined line to it, as you can see, so I have a good good place to maybe make a defined break from the uh, from this turquoise or this whatever it is. Okay, so this is dry enough um, to catch you up what I've done so far. Um, I went ahead and as, you, as I said earlier, I painted this, that, and then I went ahead and used a canary yellow acrylic uh, to paint the whole one here, and then I'm gonna do some contrast paint on that shell. So um, again, just have fun with it. So right now I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna use a really watered down pink. And then after I do this initial coat, what I'll do is do some blending between the red and the pink that I'm gonna do right here. Okay, so I'm just going to do this a little real quickly. Again, we um, won't show you every stroke that I do. And incidentally, I'm going to put links in the description below to other much more qualified painters than I am. Sinestro, Rob Oren, again, that do a really good job in both showing technique and doing different styles of painting. Again, you can see what I'm trying to do there. Just get some nice... I hope that comes out right. It's a nice look on the, um, and then we'll do blend it, and then I'll probably do some darkening thing, maybe paint a dark red on around the lip area uh, thing. So again, just really watered down pink. And you can always go back later on. I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and look at myself. So right here, you can see there's some indentations of uh, probably scales or whatever, and I'll go back with that contrast red. Get this guy's cheeks up here. That contrast red, and obviously I messed up earlier and painted that eye a little red. This eye is fine, but obviously we'll go back and paint that. I don't know if I'm going to paint the eyes black. I haven't decided yet. Um, I do like I've seen on Board Game Geek some people painted the bases uh, black and then use like Starfield uh, for the base. So and they painted these little uh, moon shaped things different colors. Okay, so there we go for now, and hopefully you're getting a good idea of what I'm doing. Um, what I'll do later on, I'm probably going to use some contrast paint on this yellow guy. I'm going to do, just so you know what paints I'm using, I'm going to use some contrast. Uh, it's called, uh, I don't know, Taden or Satan or whatever, yellow. And then I may go ahead and darken the yellow guy with some um, flesh shade, Reichland flesh shade gloss. By the way, before we finish, I'll go ahead and show you all the little um, techniques I use to utilize to um, coat these with various sealers and stuff. But again, so far, already really liking the progress on this. Hope you do too.
Okay, so there's the pink mixed with the red. And again, I also did the same thing using a green with the dark green contrast on the top here. And then I just used a, um, what's this color called? Green Papa Verde Prop, or Pro, I don't know what the heck it is, but it's green of some type. A little bit of bright, you know, color. And then now what I'm gonna do is this guy's dry enough. We're gonna try and see what using this yellow contrast, again, this is called whatever yellow, we talked about it before. So we're gonna watch me paint that. Again, with contrast paint, I don't put it on the my powder, my plate here. By the way, this is just a ceramic plate. I got it Goodwill for a dollar. And again, you can use anything you want, paper plates, etc. Um, this is just for fun. So, all right, let's put my glasses down here and let's see how this looks. I don't know how it's going to look. And by the way, make sure you shake your your contrast paints real well. Make sure you're getting a good view of that. So we're going to start from the center. You can see how it brings out the highlights. I don't know how much I'm going to do here. Because again, what you want to do, I think I'm going to do the whole shell. And again, let's see here what you got. Make sure you're seeing it well. Okay. Too thick there, so I'm just going to brush that up. So you can see here, thin that out a little bit by just putting it on the plate. Again, you can see here. Again, still too thick there, so I'm just spread that out a little bit. Okay, and now let's go ahead and get back into that. And see, uh, let's get on the top here. Let's go ahead and go to that edge of that shell. I sound like Bob Ross there, don't I? Just a wee little tree, just make a little bit of shell. So again, I think this gives us a unique color that should really good be good for the game. And again, I'm gonna dry brush this later. Definitely paint these eyes. Sorry, I got off camera there for a second. You can see here, he's looking pretty good. Go back and do this other side here. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's put that out a little bit. Get that right there. All right. So I think that looks pretty good. Okay. And so I'm going to try the same thing. I'm going to use the contrast blue on this guy right here. Okay. And what we're going to do is just wire a brush a little bit, close this up, and then we're going to open this up, shaking it really well. Let's see, okay, we're going to dry this brush using this thing called a paper towel, real fancy technique here I'm using. And again, my brush size, um, guys, I just use a standard one or two. Nice wet brush, shaking that up. Now let's try it here. That should really pop. Yeah, there we go. Now, the question is, how much thickness do we put on there? Because we want to make sure that turquoise bleeds through a little bit. So I don't think I'm going to need much more paint on my brush than what I have already. Okay. I think this looks good. Nice color combo. And again, if you overpaint like I just did there, you can always go back. I lied, I'm going to need a little bit more paint. Okay. And I'm going to leave this top here fairly light on the blue. Okay. So there we go. What do you think? Alright. Okay. Get that little section over just a little bit over here. Right here a little bit. Let's get the quartz. Uh, get this really quickly here. Uh, 
I don't know. Maybe a little bit too much of the blue. I want that turquoise to come through. I maybe just brushed it with my fingers a little bit, see if I can get some of that turquoise to come through a little bit. If it doesn't, life goes on. Okay. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a brush. I'm gonna do this on the other one too, obviously with the yellow paint. And then we'll figure it out. I may go ahead and do that with the turquoise over here. And again, we're just having fun. So I'm gonna experiment with different things. This has little, this paint, again, this is, I'm gonna shut this up. Uh, this right here. And again, you can see the technique I'm using is just drop a hair. And we're gonna paint this guy right here. Okay. Yeah, it's really watered down paint, give a nice light look. I'm not trying to be too exact here again. Because we're just having fun. You can see here. Kind of blend that in while that's still wet. That blue is still wet. They can blend it nicely with that. Keep using that drop brush to blend it in. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. So again, you can see what we're doing. We just blend it in, blend it in. Some areas we're doing a little bit more dark than others. And I'm gonna get under his chin. Alright, so all right, there you go for now, and we'll get back to you later. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint this guy. But I'm just going to use just acrylic paint. Um, in this case, I'm just using a um, purple. I don't know what the official color is, but you get it. Um, FYI, just so you know, a little paint goes along. I'm not going to need that much. But again, I think with this guy, I'm going to paint the shell. So I think for these two um, minis, I'm going to use one purple, and then I'm going to do one with orange. And then I'll uh, figure out my color combo, and then I'll do a lot more dry brushing and um, shading with various... You know, like again, for those of you who don't know, you can use like a nice non-oil that really brings up the depth in a lot of uh, minis. Um, you could use watered down black for that matter, but obviously the non-oil is much better. Um, and what we'll do is paint these and see how it looks. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, if I'm going to use a pale, probably shouldn't, uh, but again, you can see here, watered down a lot. Make sure you can see here. This guy with the purple. So again, we're having fun. Get air bubbles, just brush them away. Probably go back and do this again, a little bit darker. Kind of want that effect a little bit more than I do the uh, too light on the shell. Again, I'm just showing you this because if you don't have contrast paint, you don't need it. Um, it just it's just a different technique or a different product that utilizes and it darkens automatically. Now you can see because of the way I'm using the paintbrush and the paint, the thickness, and again I have way too much paint for what I'm going to be doing here. Um, you can see I'm getting my shading automatically done here. And uh, the difference is this won't dry my experience will not bring out the dark the dark shadows as much as a contrast paint will. Again, this is just basic acrylic paint you can get anywhere in any hobby store like a Hobby Lobby or Michaels or the like. So again, give a nice thing. And what probably best here, I don't know, maybe like a, a, a light blue to highlight it with. Um, so I may go with a light blue in the bottom on him itself. Maybe like a pale or sky blue. Um, again, just having fun with the colors. Okay, that is too thick, but we can get it going here. All righty here. Too thick, too thick, too thick. Too thick, too thick, too thick. But you just want to see some uniformity, if at all possible. So that is too much on that side. Let's bring some over here. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, but with orange on that, and then we'll do some dry brushing later on with it. Oops. Get him going so it gets some. Okay, and now just for fun, I'm going to go ahead do some other shading here or around his wrists. Again, make sure you can see it around his. And I need to go back and look at all the other models and make sure that we got um, some highlights on some of these darker or uh, scales or bones or whatever the heck it is. He's breaking out. It's a cosmic frog, so. Alrighty, I don't know if this kind of frog that they're painted will have more oomph, which is a game reference. Alright, okay. So, let's get the nostrils a little bit. Alright. And then we'll do orange on the other one. Okay, now what I'm doing for this one, again, I got the purple back, and I went ahead, now you can use any blue, but I just happen to have some um, dark Prussian blue. I decided to go with a darker color in the center here for this guy's uh, stomach area. And uh, again, uh, we're just going to get a nice wet brush, and then we're going to go ahead and again call. I may not like it initially, but I'm going to cover this whole thing with just some non-oil, and when I do the, before I do the highlights on the whole thing. But again, you're getting different. It comes out again. I'm not using anything fancy. That's just again just dark brushing through uh, uniform. You get some nice color in there. Again, it should look really good on the game. Will it make me any better at playing? No, but still, a little bit too much there. All right, let's thin that out a little bit. And again, we are just blending it in. You can see here what I did there was, again, I just painted over some purple that was on this before. And again, it gives it a different little texture to it. So you can see here, we're just getting it where we're painting everything. Not really using anything fancy technique here, just, uh, you know, for the hands, you probably want those lighter, especially underneath the hand itself. I'm gonna get some more color on here, the paint that is. We'll bring it out here. Again, what we're trying to do is we spring out the highlights of the mini so that when it's on the board, you can say, hey, what's that look like? And again, guys, just have fun with it. Um, if you miss an area or you're something, you know, after you're all done and you sit there, oh, I should have got this painted or this section here is a little bit darker than the other. Look, unless you have magnifying glasses on and unless you, um, look right here, it's too thick. Unless you're, you know, getting paid to do these, this is just for fun. And that's why I'm doing it on a Sunday afternoon. And I thought I had a camera. Why not show you guys how what I do? So again, nothing, you can see here, I'm just blending it in. So now you can see by me painting that before, you get some nice little purple highlights out of there. And I didn't really do any fancy technique. Um, and it looked really, in my opinion, good at the end of the day. So, you know, looking back, okay, I've never obviously painted these minis before. There's some stuff I would do differently as far as bringing out highlights. And I'm gonna do the same technique. Now, one thing you're going to notice, if you flip it like I'm doing right here, you're going to get spots everywhere. That's why you always have paper towel and stuff. But one thing you want to try and avoid is doing that where you have other minis around. So again, we're going to use that same thing, a little darker blue. Let's lighten it up. Again, I painted this purple before. So you can see, nice. Let's see if I hope you can see that all right. Okay. All right, so I'm going to finish painting this guy up, and then we'll figure out what to do with this, uh, this orange fellow here. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe... Go with a little yellow. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with a pink. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Thanks. Okay. So I painted him, and you can see it's not dry yet, but I painted the blue there. And I went ahead and used a really watered down blue to paint the shell itself. And again, the purpose is just to give it some depth. So 
I think it blended real well. I liked it so much that I'm going to try the same technique, but except on the orange one, I'm going to use um, purple. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use this purple that I had. Again, put too much on the plate before and keep it watered real well. Now, I'm not going to water this down as much, but I'm going to really water it down for the um, uh, for the shell. So you can see here, kind of making it dark. I'm just going to show you the technique I'm using here. And then we can, you can see here, I'm going to paint these lips. Oh, by the way, um, while I'm thinking about it, I went ahead and just painted those eyes dark blue. And I may darken that even further. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But you can see there are the eyes. I just went ahead and painted them solid color. I think I may leave all of the, um, the uh, minis with just solid colored eyes. Um, again, everything you do is right. There's no wrong color combo or idea on this. Let's thin that out a little bit. Okay. All right. So again, just go back. If you think it's too thick or too thin, just thin it out with water. You got some time. This is acrylic paint. It doesn't doesn't take long for the dry, but it's not immediate dry time either. So you guys can go ahead and get this guy. And you can see by just me using some watered down paint here. I'm getting some texture, some depth, without really trying too hard. And what's nice is, you know, with just a couple of things of acrylic paint, that was too watery, I apologize. So all you do is, just, if it's too watery, you just take your brush and sucks it right up. I don't know if you're gonna give you that, I apologize if you're not. But again, a little bit, let's get that a little bit thicker. And then, so you can see, hopefully you can see, again, just a little bit. We're going to get that a little bit darker around the eyes. And then, so I'm going to go ahead and finish painting the body. And then what we'll do is we'll paint that shell. And again, you can see here, those orange highlights. So I started with a dark color. I liked it, but actually it's working out where it's turning pretty pale and just bring out the highlights. So his, his uh, cosmic muscles have you. Let's go ahead and finish painting this guy up here. And then I'm going to show you my technique for painting that shell. Or repainting over it, I guess, depends on how you look at it. Again, this isn't any fancy paints at all. You can get these really expensively. And it makes a big difference. And then, you know, you could really, even if we just did what we did here and didn't even do some highlights, I think you'd have a really nice mini on your on your game board that you guys can enjoy, your players, your fellow players can enjoy. And this didn't take too long. And again, I have the right consistency there in the stomach area, so I'm going to try and avoid painting that any more than I have to. And again, you can see here. Ah. So I'm going to water that down real quick. So you can see, that's what I'm going to do and do that now while you're watching. I'm going to get some really, really, really watered down brush and just brush it lightly on that shell. So again, it gives a nice depth of color, but again, that's all I'm going for is just some highlights. And uh, you can see here. Just keep blending water to your consistency you like. So that's too thick right there. So you can just, again, you just take your paintbrush that's been dried and see how it sucks it right up. Okay, so let's go back to the paint. It's not an exact science, nor should it be. Again, we're gonna try and leave that up front there. Okay. All righty. So again, I like that look on the shell itself. Fun about you guys. Let's see, can you see it all right? I'm gonna go ahead and zoom it up a little bit. I like that look a lot. So now I'm just gonna go back using the heavier paint, paint this rest of the body. And again, you just wanna get it in there, get all that nicks and crannies. No one's gonna judge you. I don't think the game would be ruined if uh, you missed a toe, but again, 
And if you wanted to, with this, this type of mini, you could sit there and put multiple colors, besides just two in this case, and really have fun with it. You know, uh, mix some black in there, maybe some different shades of purple, even highlight with red, because red and orange go, well, whoops, way too thick there, way too thick. So let's get some paint off of there. You can see here, all I'm doing is just taking a brush, going in there, paper towel it, So over here, you can see I overpainted with the orange, so we're going to try and get that up a little bit, so it's a little bit clean. Okay. All right, so what do you think? Can we go with purple on the eyes here? All right, so let's go ahead and do the eyes real thick, purple. I don't know if I like that look or not. I think I may go with an orange or a black on that, on the eyes. All right. So... Sorry, I keep going off camera there. All right, so there's that guy, nice and colorful. And uh, all right, we've got colors on, multiple colors on all the beanies now. And hopefully we get a time, uh, after these dry a little bit, I'm gonna double check these, make sure I didn't miss anything. But otherwise, uh, then we're gonna have to do some, I don't know what I'm gonna do, some highlighting, figure that out, and then we'll go, uh, go forward with there. All right, thanks. Okay, so what I've done here, um, first of all, on the purple dude, you can see there the shading there is done automatically with the um, with the purple paint. I'm liking how this guy's turning out, so I don't think I'm going to do extra shading on that. I may do some highlights again on the back, uh, but and obviously got to paint the eyes. Um, same goes for his counterpart, but again with the blue. Blue did some nice shading there, I thought. So I'm not going to change that. Um, again, you can see the definition of the lips, etc. Um, with this yellow dude, I don't think I have much shading there. I really like to think it. I want it to pop a little bit. But the problem, of course, is you never know until you actually paint. So with both the yellow guy and with the blue dude here, I'm going to paint. Again, these both had contrast paints in the back. So I'm going to use some, uh, in the case of the this guy, I'm going to use some, again, this is Reichland, I believe, Flesh Shade uh, that I'm using. This is obviously an uh, agent to bring out the highlights. And then I think for the blue guy, I'm going to use some just non-oil. Again, this is stuff that brings up the, uh, the highlights. And then my plan, you can see here, I painted the eyes white. I'm going to try the thing, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll walk you through the process of painting some shading on this. And then I'm just going to do off camera. I'm going to do some highlights, paint the base black, and then I'll come back and do um, some uh, basically sealant. I'm going to use a gloss uh, seal, and I'll show you how to do that um, and the product I use for that. But again, there's lots of little detail I probably need to paint. Like I'm going to paint these little rock thingies here, um, or stone, or whatever. I'll probably paint that gold or something metal. Um, and then I got these eyes to work on. I don't know if I want to put more to it. I'll have to see. So let's go ahead and we're going to experiment. The phrase that I'm going to experiment. I'm going to go ahead and use this Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this on uh, this uh, model, this mini. Let's see if we can get it. So I'm going to really start with a light touch on it first because, again, I don't know what the effect's going to be. Um, I have experience using it, but you never know. So I'm just going to get try and just do some light brushing here and just bring out some highlights without being crazy. I don't know. So let's see what we got here. You notice I'm using a small brush here. All right, let's get these eyes, or let's first do the lips. All right. All right, so we got, that brings out the lips a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and lightly brush it across the body to bring out some highlights. And I apologize if I didn't get everything on camera. Again, um, just having fun, but you know, you still, still take it seriously. Okay, here. Probably, probably wouldn't do this this dark here. Get a little piece of paint there on that. 
a little tip here. Try and clean, clean your brush, brushes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some continuity here. Uh, I'm not looking bad. Let's get, get, get the hands here. Do frogs have hands? I don't know if they do or not. Okay. All right, it looks not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, you know. Okay, you can, you can see a little bit too thick around there. So I'm going to thin that out a little bit. Just go with the brush, get it dried off. Okay. Um, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and do the eyes. So all I'm going to do here is just lightly see if we can get a nice shaving on the eyes. Then pop a little bit. You know what? Just for fun, we'll do a little bit here too. Kind of blend that in a little bit. So again, you can go back. Really depends on what you want to do. Let's go ahead and get the are these fins. What are these on this thing? I don't even know. What's a cosmic frog have? Fins? Flippers? Alright, let's see here. Alright, just a little bit. All the extremities there. Yeah. Okay. So the naked eye, this is gonna be pretty good. Um so I've got some brown highlights basically, bringing up some depth of that. I'm pretty sure you can see that fairly well. And then we're gonna get the back here a little bit. So again, we're gonna get probably more detail than we need to here. Let's get that in there. But again, it's fun to do. Five years from now when you're playing the game, you can say, oh, I did that, hopefully. Okay, so just a little bit. We're not really messing with that yellow overall, but we're just bringing on some highlights. That guy looks tough and ready to eat some worlds, I guess, right? All right, so now we may come back to that later. Um, obviously, again, we're going to paint the base. I don't know what I'm going to do with the base. I don't know if I'm going to leave it white and then paint some stars on it. I don't know what to do. So let's go ahead and, again, the same concept, but we're going to use a non-oil. Again, shake it up real well. Now, not a little, we're really darkening this up. So you can see, just want to do a little bit. Let's get around those lips a little bit here. Forgive me if I was off camera there for a second. So, I'm just going to do the lips. Okay. Use this thing called a finger to get that off that top. Not really the look I'm going for. Okay. Okay. All right, so, all right, so now let's go ahead and get these eyes. Well, what I like about non oil again, it's gonna fill in those crevices and really make that eye pop without discoloring that iris or the uh, people, whatever it is. I don't know what the heck it is. Okay, and again, to the other side also. A little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Alrighty, so now you've got, so now he's going to bring out, let's get that, let's get that nostril going a little bit too. Probably should have done that on the other one too with the white one. What do you think? Alright, so here's a decision you have to make. Do you want to go ahead and darken these? I'm going to go ahead and darken them a little bit without getting crazy so that that muscle kind of stands out a little bit or... Again, it's it's painter's choice how how much you want to get into this, but this gives it a little bit of. Ah, should have done that. All right, so let's get those fingers a little bit and the toes, and we'll call it a day. All right, so it's already made a big difference. You can see we've got that non-oil there, and we're going to go ahead and grab these out. And then we're going to go 
that's a little bit too dark there, so let's get that thinned out a little bit. There you go. Okay, get some toes. I don't know if you catch this side or not. All right, now let's look at the back side. Maybe a little bit on the back side. Okay. It yeah, has to give some definition to it. Okay. All right. So there we go. Got a nice little frog with some definition to him, which is always important to have in frogs. All right, so what I'll do off camera is I'm going to paint these bases. I'm going to go through them all and make sure there's no detail. I haven't decided what I'm going to do in all these eyes, but again, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll, you know, it's just fun. And uh, after that, I'll go ahead and I'll paint the bases with this, uh, some type of um, sealant, and then uh, we should be good to go. Where's my other one? Oh, I uh, may use, yeah, in fact, I will probably use some type of shade. If I use it on this, uh, this green frog here, I'm going to use some Athena, Athena, Cos, Com, Camo, Camo Shade. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, I'll try that on this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so I have finished them. And you can see here what I did was I just painted just a basic black. And then I painted the little in this case a moon shaped thing I painted with a metallic silver paint and then I gave it I gave them a coat of and this is obviously bought at Hobby Lobby for $5.99 I've had this for a while um, I used a gloss paint on this or a gloss sealant on this this is just a um, again a thing you thin it out with a little water and you paint it on and it dries it's a nice sealant again here's the green one Hopefully that gets in focus for you. But you can see, I think they turned out pretty well. Um, again, something fun. And again, uh, didn't take that long to do. You can see how, again, got some texture there. I also painted the eyes. I did different things with the different eyes. Um, some I used basic color. This one didn't come out great, but you can see like a yellow. Oops. And then we have the, uh, see I painted with a white and black again. So there you go. That is the miniature from Cosmic Frog. And good luck. Hope you're able to have fun painting. Again, uh, should be good. You have a good day. Thanks.